Okay, now let's talk about the brewing uh, in a little bit more detail. Now, the process of making beer is simply called as brewing, right? So, we have already talked about that. Okay, and once we get everything in the water, like uh, the extract from the hops and the extract from the malt is called the wort. So, that watery part containing all the important sugary materials to be fermented is called the wort. Now, the first important step is the malting of the barley. Now, the barley is selected in use for the malting industry and must meet special quality specifications. And, ex and actually, the accepted malting barley varieties have to modify uh, to get the better quality beer from time to time. So, the first step for the malting. So, before the malting, you, ne you need to know about a little bit of a structure of the barley. So, if this is a barley, what we can see in this case, this is an outer membrane. It is called the husk of the barley. And in each of different stages of this barley contains speci specific type of nutrients which are coming out during the wort preparation. So, husk is having a type of ingredients. Embryo is having a type of ingredient. Uh, then endosperm is having the rest of the starch material. So, most of the starch material is coming from this endosperm region. And Aleurone is having its own. So, here in this case, in the mature barley, the embryo and the endosperm are the most important stages for the preparation of beer. Right? Now, <coughs> the store for carbohydrate is this beer. So, this is having carbohydrate and this is also having carbohydrate. Rest of the part are having less amount of carbohydrates. Right? And, uh, and and usually this is the starch layer. This this layer is the starch layer. This whole endosperm layer is the starch layer. And surrounding this layer, we are having aleurone. This is also a living. This is a kind of non uh, non starch but living cell wall layer. Okay. Let's talk about now vitality of those. Uh, of those uh, what you can say malts or, or barley when stored at very low temperature and low moisture content it is, can be vital for centuries that that is very very important uh, Im importance about uh, this barley because they can be viable for centuries if we store them in the right temperature like 12 degree celsius temperature and moisture of below 12 percent higher moisture content can spoil those barley because they can have fungal contamination the moisture above 14 percent if you store barley at moisture above 40 14 percent for several different uh, several days it can catch several fungal contamination right aspergillus fusarium like of contamination okay and what they produce in this particular stage is some secondary metabolite and those secondary metabolites produced by fungi can cause kind of situation called gushing as you can see in this picture simply a kind of foamy beer like this Okay, now this is these are the different stages of malting actually. As you can see, these are the different stages. So here it begins with that. So these are the stages in this 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 upper region. It is stained with dye, and this is without the stain. But these are the different stages from different days. Actually, this is not days. It's, it will be a days. In days zero day one. First day, second day, third day. From the third day on, it is kind of germination is kind of coming out. You can see it, visualize it. Day four, day five, and fully matured malt is we, we get fully matured malt. Now this is very very important to choose the particular stage of harvesting. To choose the particular stage uh, for the preparation of beer, you cannot take this uh, first day malt uh, for for your beer preparation. Uh, that is completely uh, wrong. You cannot take a uh, six or seven day because it will provide some long trees, right? So you need to take it from the day four and five like that. So, these are this is a sequential events of malting from barley to malt. So, storage is a moisture from 12 to 14 percent, but not more than 14 percent. Temperature should be less than 12 degrees Celsius. It's actually 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. 12 degrees Celsius works most uh, fine. That's why we provide that. Steeping is the process for uh, malting. It's a moisture of 45 percent. It is required for the steeping. That means this is not about the moisture for uh, those barley. This is the moisture of your environment actually. For the germination purpose, you require the moisture of 45%. Now, in this particular stage, what we do actually produce a bed. In the bed, we kind of produce a moist bed as kind of moist chamber. Now, in this moist bed and a moist chamber, we just put all those materials there. So, let, let me put all those. Say, these are the, this green color thing are all those burlies. We put all those burlies and we allow them for three to five days. Now, actually, the germination time is five days. You can see in this previous picture, uh, almost in four to five days, we get a proper uh, shaped, uh, properly 
were produced a malt ready to be transferred for uh, the beer preparation right okay and the temperature is 12 to 16 degrees celsius for the germination so actually the whole process of malting is divided into three different stages steeping first stage is steeping second stage is germination and third stage is kiln drying first stage is the steeping which is uh, we need to provide a higher moisture content for uh, for uh, this barley uh, to relieve uh, is its actual stage and to be moved towards the germination stage now during the germination process we require very less amount of moisture like 12 to 14 percent and the temperature must be 12 to 16 degrees celsius temperature after the germination is done we don't require moisture anymore so we need to dry the situation we need to dry those uh, molds so we need to dry it before uh, subjecting it for the beer preparation so the drying is called kiln drying and the temperature in this case is almost 85 degrees celsius temperature and moisture is up to 4 and less than 4 percent of moisture right so as this process is done we need to cut those rootlets out as you can see here stemlets and rootlets are coming out so we need to cut these rootlets from this region but we need to take the malt because during the germination uh, the malt is providing all the necessary nutrients that is required for the perfect beer preparation in the malting what we can say uh, you can see the uptake of water is in the steeping vessel is really really important so we just put all those barley into the steeping water so we can see the moisture content is 45 to 50 percent now followed by the aeration and until the water content grain reaches 42 to 48 uh, percent now the grains are then transferred to the malting beads so here you can see the malting beads are coming out here here is the malting beads and here uh, they allowed for the germination for five days once everything is produced we call it the green malt and after the five days we need to subject them for the clean drying so in this case these are the three different stages this a stage is the steeping so you can see in the steeping we need to dip all those boiled into the water the second stage here is termed as uh, germination actual germination is taking place here and rootlets are coming out after that we need to put them in, in the, the hot environment here it is a heater coil so it's a schematic presentation like that so actually in in, in uh, large productions we don't get this kind of heater like structure skill drying is done in different ways we'll be seeing the picture later so in this particular stage when they are heated and they are ready to ferment uh, it is called the green malt in this particular stage this is called the kiln drying This is called kiln drying. Okay, so these are the three different stages. Now, uh, the important action of hydrolase and different enzymes during these germination stages for barley to malt. This is very, very important. First is a rapid and uniform germination. Second is the synthes uh, synthesis of hydrolytic enzymes, which is required. And these hydrolytic enzymes are generally produced in aleurone. Remember, we have talked about aleurone, which is a living tissue. Living tissue there surrounding uh, that endosperm right and the third thing is the degradation of the endosperm cell wall which is required for the starch to come out so that the fermentation can be carried out by yeast right so it is described as a modification of uh, this malt right the final stage or the degradation of endosperm cell wall and, and, and the release of starch into outside now for whole of this process uh, to be tightly regulated the hormone gibberellin plays the most important role in this case okay the presence of gibberellin is very very important now here it is so here we can see this is a malt and enzymes can come out from this aleurone which is here it, like that so as the enzymes are coming out gibberellin is, in, is, is the most key player because it is regulating everything so once the enzymes are coming out starch is being degraded into maltose now the maltose will be further degraded into glucose what are the enzymes for doing all these things? Remember, all of these enzymes are called hydrolytic enzymes. So hydrolytic enzymes will work on to it and they'll bring uh, or they'll break down the starch into maltose, then then break down the maltose further into glucose, and the glucose can be taken by uh, this embryo pretty easily and embryos start to grow that is the actual funda of the malting it's a simple germination process and for that they require water so that's the reason for steeping 45 percent of moisture after that when the fermentation is carried out the moisture level should be 12 to 14 percent then we need to in, uh, reduce it into 4 percent in kiln dry okay so every different stage every single stage is tightly regulated during this process 
right so that we get the perfectly quality and perfectly uh, uh, what, what we can say we get the perfect form of uh, malt for our preparation of beer so here we can see the steeping and germination stages differently now this is the step for steeping where we dip them in the water so after dipping them in water approximately the percentage of moisture 48 45 to 48% then we put them into the ground like that then you put them into the ground and here you can see the germination is going on after the germination is going on what we need to do we produce the green malt so once we produce the green malt after the germination we need to allow them to dry for some days